A family is desperate for answers tonight into what caused the car accident that killed their 19-year-old son. They say it's taken days to get basic information from police. The wreck involved an off-duty officer. WJZ is live in South Baltimore where it happened. Mike Helgren takes you inside the tragedy and the investigation. Mike? Denise, this is where Andrew McCoy was thrown from his friend's SUV. It somehow collided with a Cadillac driven by an off-duty Annapolis police officer. You see the memorial here. Andrew's family simply wants a fair investigation. McCoy's mother and stepfather met WJZ at the Sawmill Creek Skate Park, a home away from home for their 19-year-old son. They want to know what happened the night he died a week ago at the intersection of Patapsco and Potee. I was shaking because I was scared. I knew something had bad happened to him. It's just kind of a you know bureaucratic snafu in terms of information coming out. For days, they got few answers from police. Because of a funeral for a member of Baltimore City's Accident Investigation Unit, the MTA took the case initially. The family did not know an off-duty police officer was involved until four days after the crash when they read it online the morning of their son's funeral. We certainly realize that investigations of this type take time. We know it's going to take time for them to, to do everything, but just to not even have any basic details about the accident was very frustrating. Baltimore City Police have now taken the lead. One of the most important pieces in this is going to be the blood and alcohol testing that was done at the hospital. The police spokesman says that has to be subpoenaed and they have to physically get the results back from the lab. Police say the officer involved, James Sawyer, served 28 years in Baltimore City before retiring and joining the Annapolis force where he's on administrative duty pending the outcome of the investigation. We don't have any evidence and we're not making any accusations against the police department that anything fishy happened, but it, it just makes you wonder. They're also desperate to get Andrew's personal belongings back to help them grieve as they wait for closure. I, you know, I want his wallet, I want his cell phone. He was always taking pictures, always taking videos with his cell phone. And I want to see what he saw. And you're looking live at the wreath that Andrew's stepfather placed here at the intersection. Police say this all could come down to who ran the traffic signal at this intersection, but that could take weeks, maybe months to determine. Reporting live in South Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Mike. Andrew's mother says her son's close friend who was driving the SUV doesn't remember anything about the crash.